Hello, everyone. Have you ever been sitting in a th movie theater and watching the generic at the end of the movie and thinking, how can I get involved in such a project? Or you've been sitting in a live show theater in Las Vegas or in other places in the world and watching the program at the end and thinking, how can I get involved in such a creation or production? Well, it's possible for anybody, even though you're not coming from the entertainment field. So what needs to be done in a movie production or in a show production, like video games or in other place, is the same whether you are a finance guy in a traditional environment or marketing or engineer or manager, it's the same. The what needs to be done is the same, is the how you do things that is different. If you are looking to move into finding your dream job in entertainment, this video is an introduction, it's five first steps that you should take in order for you to place yourself in the path to be able to get that dream job. Hi again, I'm Sylvain Gauthier. I'm launching this channel. It's called The Executive Producer. Um, as I'm recording it, I got zero subscribers. So you'll maybe be the first subscriber. But the idea of the channel is to break down the barriers for you to be able to get true access to this entertainment world. A lot of the people, they like their job, for whether you might be an accountant or you might be a finance or you might be engineer, manager or IT, uh, and, and you like what you're doing but you might not necessarily be in love with the product or the environment that you are in if you're not, for example, doing uh, things that are more creative or presented to an audience. So moving into the entertainment industry, of course, associate you with the creative product, of course, associate you also with an audience, and, and sometimes is a lot more passionate for people because they feel like they could see uh, uh, the value of their work being uh, presented and judged also by people. So the channel here is, is to, that I'm putting together is to help you uh, understand the how we do things in entertainment. The what needs to be done is the same. How we do in it is different. There's a whole lot of jargons and terminologies as different uh, life cycles in terms of production and creation is also creation models that is different. But once you understand that, you could relate to what you're doing in your own environment and you could easily do that transaction transition. And the understanding is what the channel is targeted to. So if you subscribe, you'll be able to get tips and tricks and while also understanding, you know, how people works in the in the entertainment industry. That's very important because one of the key barrier for working in entertainment is it's working by project. A lot of the time, movies a project, shows a project, events is a project. So people don't have time to train you to learn how to do things. So they expect you to come and know how to do it. So that's why it's difficult to get there because you might be a very efficient IT person in certain field, but if you don't understand the how they're working, you cannot be efficient as quick as possible and therefore we're gonna lose time. You know, and, and potentially you're gonna be someone that will have to train all along. So that's why it's gonna be important to uh, for you to lower down that barrier and understand as much as you can so you can get that job. So my goal on this video is to give you this five first step that you should take if you want to get into uh, the environment entertainment. And these first five steps will be uh, the foundation for you in order to actually develop yourself also. Because one of the things is you need to start developing yourself around the content. What you have acquired in other fields is already very good. And a lot of the time, a lot of people are a lot more competent than the people that are already in entertainment in other fields. They just don't know how to apply it. And that's my goal is to show you how to apply it. So let's start with number one point, okay? That you should be aware, that should you that you should uh, uh, get involved with. Number one, LinkedIn. You should be on LinkedIn and you should have your profile as much as you can uh, uh, being uh, detailed. LinkedIn is the, the tool that people are using in entertainment. If you could join and look at my profile, I've put the post a link down uh, and you could link, link with me. The point is build your network. Networking is how you find job and how you move from project to project in the business of entertainment. It's very rare posting on the internet for jobs, things like that. Sometimes it's just an HR compliance, the, the job's already you know, so allocated to somebody that had a contact somewhere else. So it's working by contact, it's working by word of mouth, 
And people are looking for people that already knows how to do things and they don't want to spend time training you. So that's why LinkedIn is a good start for you to get hooked up with people. If you're focused on you want to work in movie or live shows or video games, then of course, build your network around these folks that are in the field, okay? And look at what they, they're doing. Also look at how do they express what they do as a job. So it help you to understand the culture of entertainment and people working in this business. So number one, LinkedIn. Number two, you gotta have a CV that goes beyond the content. I understand CVs or resume is important for the content that you have, but in entertainment, you're gonna have to go and have also the packaging of your resume a little bit you know, authentic in a sense that you could, you belong to the world of the creative content. So there is already tools on the internet, uh, Resume Builder, that allow you to create very nice uh, resume. I'll attach mine down. You could take a look. It's as a PDF version. I use an NCV to do it. There's no affiliate link for me on this one. I don't think they even have an affiliate program. Uh, and NCV does, you know, beautiful. But there's many others, you know, you could type Resume Builder, uh, you're going to see on Google top 10 resume builder. You could try some of them, but make yourself a, a resume that is, yes, there is the content, but also the look and the, the, the appeal and the easy. And there's a little bit of creative in the way that you have put it together, which makes you a little bit more authentic to be in a job of entertainment. Okay. So number two, your resume. Number three, let's say you get an interview or you're going to meet people in a, in a, a an event or something like that a lot of the time people will question you uh, and they will use the jargon and terminology of entertainment it's important for you to understand that jargon and technology because a uh, terminology sorry you mean because it it could you could lose credibility or your your whole picture of you knowing the business could go down very quick if you don't know for example certain fundamental terminology so for example if i talk about an ad or a td you know, if you don't know what that means, this, those are kind of fundamental thing, right? Which is artistic director, technical director. So there's many three letter words. There's many different words that are used for entertainment. So people will use that as they're going to chat with you or in an interview. So get familiar with these things. The channel I'm putting together is covering a lot of these because I'm talking the language of entertainment. So you could get your ears used to it, but also you could get also your ears to use to the environment when we're talking about deliverables or work package or etc. Things like that, that people will expect you to know. So three jargon terminology, and you could use the, my channel to help you with that one. There, the number four is like, if you never had any experience in delivering content to an audience, I suggest you volunteer for certain project. There's plenty of association, non-profit association like Red Cross. If you are political uh, involved, you know, you could do, go with your association where you could help putting together events, fundraising uh, events also, or party, things that require you to contribute to a concept or lead the development of a concept, the creation of the event, the production of the event, and the delivery to an audience, and the judgment also from an audience for what you have done. So it is a it is a way for you to acquire experience of working with others uh, in this environment and also understanding some of the challenge you might be facing and understanding that sometimes you've got a lot of constraint to deal with. So it gives you a bit of a feel of what you're going to be seeing in a larger scale when you're going to be doing other things uh, in the real job of entertainment. So get some experience. If you are working in a corporate company, there is like an association organizing events. Join them, be part, give yourself, make yourself a, uh, somebody that is available to, uh, to drive the event, to manage the event. And yes, you're going to do mistake. We all do. But you're going to learn, and that's the best way of picking up uh, uh, some experience. And also, it's the best way also to share with whoever you're targeting to get a job that you have already touched certain things that are connected to creative content and delivering that to an audience. So that's number four. Number five, why don't you create uh, your own R&D lab? Okay? What I mean by that, if you create your own YouTube channel, guess what? This is a full creative content project where you need to think about a concept right there or a team. 
You need to think about content. What kind of content is valued? What kind of content should I present to the audience? You need to think about the audience you need to, to read. You need to think about production, the technical aspect. You need to think about the marketing aspect. You need to think about the finance aspect. Everything that you need to be functional in an entertainment job is in a YouTube channel. Actually, today, as an executive producer, I have no problem of hiring some of the YouTuber to be on a, a creative project. Why? Because they have the experience. They've been touching so many things. They have been looking at so many angles. They've done their marketing. They've done their finance. They've done their production. They've done their business deal. They've done everything in a smaller scale. So you don't have to create that YouTube channel in a sense of trying to make money every every month or live on it. But learn, you create it in order for you to have your own R&D lab where you could learn and you could apply a lot of the things that you're picking up as you go in a smaller scale. I guarantee you, you know, when you produce a movie or we produce a live shows, it's the same thing. It's just a larger scale, bigger budget, a lot more people, but it's the same issues, right? You need to move from a creation to production. You need to test it. All the phases are there for you to learn. So. YouTube channel is a great one. One of the reasons I create my own channel is also I want to experiment with this. I want to, you know, I've been doing live shows for many years. Uh, now it's time that I'm looking at how do I do that with uh, creative content from YouTube channel and doing the whole step myself. And right now I'm creating that kind of marketing video in order to get it launched. So get yourself a, an R&D lab where you could learn and that's the best place for you to get confidence because a lot of the things to get that job is going to be the confidence where, and you're going to you're going to step into a world that is potentially different than the one that you've been living with. Uh, sometimes I think traditional uh, environments such as like construction or manufacturing a product is a bit boring. Let's put it this way. There's not many things happening. Yeah, you might have an R&D product coming in, but, you know, as a job is not very challenging. If you move into entertainment, people will expect uh, sometimes to go beyond what you're doing as a job because there's somebody missing in a certain place and, you know, somebody needs to grab the shovel and shovel. So that's the reality that we're living in, but it's very exciting. So let's get started. Uh, use the five step. Number one, link in. Number two, resume. Number three, learn the terminology and jargon. Number four, get involved with certain fundraising or party or, you know, activities in order for you to practice some of, of the production and delivery to audience. And finally, try to create a YouTube channel as your R&D lab to learn and subscribe to my channel and you'll grow and you're gonna be on your way to get that dream job and entertainment. Good luck and can't wait to see you in another video.